Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about modules and require. Alright then, so when we write a Node.js application we don't typically dump all of our application code in one file like this app.js and just let it run. That would be a nightmare to manage and for other developers to come into to refactor or extend etc or even yourself further down the line. So what we do is we split our code up into logical modules. So we'd have a different module for a different bit of code which has a certain functionality in our application. Then we call upon those modules whenever we need them. So say we had a module that was some kind of utility module that counted things for us. Then we could go ahead and create our module, then call upon that module when we need to count something, okay? So let's go ahead and do something like that. We'll right click this folder and go to new file. And I'm gonna call this count.js. And a module is just essentially another JavaScript file. That's all it is. So in this file, what I'm gonna do is create a variable called counter. And I'm gonna set this equal to a function, okay? And this function is gonna take an array as an argument. So what it's gonna do is count this array, count the length of it, and return a string. So we'll say return, and this string is gonna say there are, and then we're gonna concatenate r.length, because this is just an array, so we can use the dot .length property on it. And then let's concatenate again um, elements in this array, okay? So let's go ahead and call this function. We'll say counter and we'll pass in an array. And this is just gonna be an array of ninjas. So first of all, Sean, obviously, and then Crystal. And then finally, Ryu, okay. So we've called that and we've passed in this array. So hopefully when we run this file through Node.js, it's gonna return this to us. But what we need to do then is actually log this to the console so we can see it. So let's say console.log and then pop all of this in parentheses, save it, and then let's run this file through node. So we'll say node count, and then we get this string. There are three elements in this array. Cool, so we've made a function which returns to us a string, and it counts things for us. So what if we wanna use this functionality elsewhere in the application, for example, in this app.js? Well, that's where we use the require function, and that is on the global object in Node.js, so we can use it wherever we are. So we'd say require, and then we'd pass through a string into these parentheses, and this string is gonna be a path to the module that we require in this file. So the way we do this in Node.js is first of all say dot and then forward slash to say we want a file in the current directory, that's how we do it and then we say the file name, which is count. And we don't need to pop .js on the end. It automatically finds that JavaScript file, okay? So now we've required this module count in this file. So what do you think? Do you think that now we can go ahead and use this function in this file? Well, let's give it a whirl. We'll grab all this, cut it, and save this and go back to app.js and we'll paste it down here and we'll save this. So what's going to happen when we run this file through node now? Let's take a look. Node app and it's going to error. And the reason we get an error is because this method is not available to us outside of this module. All this code is not available to us outside the module and that is intentional even though we've required it, okay? So what we have to do inside this module is explicitly say what part of the module we want to make available to other files which require this module, okay? So the way we do that is by saying module.exports and we set this equal to whatever we want to be made available outside of this module. So I want the counter function to be made available outside of this module. So let's save that now. So when we call this module here, require count, what's happening is this thing right here is being returned to us. This 
module.exports is what is being returned to us when we require a particular module. So then what we need to do is set this equal to a variable because it's returning this value to us, this, this uh, variable here. So let's create a variable called counter in here and we'll set it equal to whatever is returned to us on the module.exports property, which is this function. Okay, makes sense? So now we can use this counter function in this file because we've required it right here. And when we require another module, it looks in that module for what's on the module.exports property. It finds it and then it returns it to us in the file that we required it in. Okay, so we're returning it and storing it in this variable. So now this variable is a reference to this function right here. So we can call this variable, we can call this function right here and it should work now. So let's save it and give it a whirl. We'll say node app. And this time we get there are three elements in this array. Okay, so that's how we create a module and that's how we require a module in another JavaScript file. Any questions, feel free to ask those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial where we're going to talk about modules a little more. I'll see you guys then.